Palauans, we say, the land is our mother and the sea is our father. And it's continued to provide to us. That's why we've been able to survive for thousands of years. So we must take care of it and really pass it on to the next generation better than how we received it. One of the most important things that we as Palauans feel is that we are so blessed that uh, God gave us such a beautiful place to live. From the top of the ridge, we say, to the, the extent of the ocean. Well, of course, we have lots of rain, and so we have very lush forest. And in fact, Palau has uh, very unique birds that are found only in Palau, no place else in the world. I think there's 30 endemic species to Palau. Also, uh, our oceans uh, is what we're really very well known for. Some of the highest concentrations of corals and fish we like to say the best diving in the world, uh, scuba diving and snorkeling. Some things that are unique, the stingless jellyfish. We have corals that of course, uh, due to climate change, we've had droughts and high heat, so we have coral bleaching, but we've also found that some of our corals due to ocean acidification are some of the most resilient in the world. So there's the opportunity to help the planet in repopulating. Palauans, we say, the land is our mother and the sea is our father. And it's continued to provide to us. That's why we've been able to survive for thousands of years. So we must take care of it and really pass it on to the next generation better than how we received it. It's really using our resources to their optimal potential, providing sustainability, helping our people, but at the same time protecting. Because we know that not only are they important for food, and our sustenance, but they're also important for our way of living and now tourism. So they kind of work together. Without the environment, we don't have tourism. Without tourism, we cannot protect our environment. We need to make sure that we have all of this working together. We take a very strong position in using those resources sustainably, but also protecting the ones that are most important. And this really comes through thousands of years of our own practices. So one of the great stories is that in 2008, Palau, we banned the taking of bumphead parrotfish. The beauty of it is now, many years later, we were able to see the rebound of them. And one of our famous diving sites now is that you can see them spawning. Mass aggregations of bumphead parrotfish, thousands of them, spawning every month. One of the few places in the world It's things like that. It makes us proud. I think it encourages us that we have, we have to be responsible. Palau, most of the people stay in Karar, but there's, there's all of bubble now. There's all the reef system that goes all the way up north. Let's spread them around. Let's look and enjoy together, but minimize your impact on the environment while you're doing it. So that many more visitors can come and enjoy, of course, the beauty that Palau has to offer. It is the source of, of life. I mean, the reason we've been able to live here for thousands of years is we've lived off the land, we've lived off the sea. We need to develop, but always keep sustainability at the forefront of what we want to do.